Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to install Fantasy Star Online 2 through the PSO2 tweaker. So the reason why I recommend using the tweaker is because you might have the same problem as what just happened to me, where I downloaded through the Microsoft Store, I played the game, it worked perfectly fine for about 5 days. And on the 6th day when I tried to play, I was double clicking on the icon and nothing happened and the game would not launch. And so what I did was I downloaded the, the tweaker, I checked files and did like a file repair and it said like 6,000 files were missing. So out of nowhere, suddenly my game was missing 6,000 files. So I had to re-download like 10 gigabytes. And even when I downloaded that 10 gigabyte file, it still wouldn't launch. So I had to uninstall Fantasy Star Online 2 and re-download the game via the tweaker. And uninstalling Final Fantasy Star Online 2 is actually a pain in the ass. You can see over here that I had to reformat my entire E drive to remove this game. When I went to add and remove programs to remove it, it would just get stuck there and it would just freeze for hours on end and it would never remove it. And when I tried to use the uninstaller from the game, it wouldn't work either. So basically I had to reformat my entire E drive in order to re-download and reinstall the game. So pain in the ass wasted my entire day to day and put me in a pretty foul mood. But everything is fixed now and I'm going to be teaching you guys in this video how to download the game via the tweaker so you don't have to go through all the problems that I went through. So step one is you want to download the PSO2 tweaker. Links will be in the description below so do check them out. So you're going to come to this page over here and you're just going to download the setup file. This is the recommended one just download it and once you install it you'll be greeted with this screen over here the PSO2 tweaker there's gonna be a couple things that will pop up do read what they're asking and go through it step by step so over here there is another link which is also in the description below it guides you through installing the tweaker step by step very very easy stuff okay so please read this it's very important that you actually follow their steps if you don't follow their steps and just go skip 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 yes 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 you're probably gonna hit a bug later down the road and you're gonna be like ah Oh, crap what happened and you may have to redo the whole process and re-download the entire game again so please follow the instructions over here and once you go through all those steps you're going to see something similar to this screenshot over here it's going to start downloading the game it's going to be a bazillion files i think mine was like 93,000 different files to download and it took me about like five to six hours to download on my internet because my internet is garbage but uh basically it takes a while it'll download okay once it's finished downloading i repeat do not not click start PSO2 yet, okay? It even tells you in the guide here, stop, stop, stop. Next step is you want to go to their Discord. I'll have a link in the description below again. And you want to go to announcements and you want to read this very specific announcement. First of all, you want to update the tweaker. The tweaker now goes to 6.0.1.1 as of the recording today, which is June 3rd. And after that, you want to follow all these steps. So that's steps one to eight, okay? So step five is the most important one. You're going to need to download this one file. There's a link right here and you need to download this file file on this link and put it in your Fantasy Star Online 2 folder. So in my case, it's in my E drive and right here there's Fantasy Star Online 2. You want to put it in this folder. It's going to be called PSO Win Store Fix, okay? Do not put it in the PSO2 bin. You just want to put it out here and once you put it here, you're going to right click on it and you're going to run with PowerShell. The moment you click run with PowerShell, there's going to be a lot of really crazy hacker looking stuff happening on your screen, but don't panic. Just let it run and it will fix everything and you'll be fine. Okay. So just let it do its thing. If you do not have run with PowerShell or you don't have this option, what you want to do is click on your start bar and type developer. And there's going to be developer settings that's going to show up. You're going to press enter on that. And instead of side load apps, you're going to click on developer mode. Once you click on developer mode, it's going to take a moment to load into developer mode. I think it needs to download something. It took me about two minutes. So I just let it do its thing. Once it's ready, it'll just show like, you know, the dot will be down on developer mode. And once it's in developer mode, when you right click on it, then run with PowerShell will show up. Okay. So just follow these steps. Okay. One to eight. Only after you've completed step five, this is a very, very, very important step. Once you've done that, and then you can just follow through and then you can play PSO2 afterwards. So over here, just to prove that PSO2 works, I'm gonna click on start PSO2. You're gonna see game guards gonna pop up on the top left. Everything is just gonna look exactly the same as if you were launching it through the regular launcher. 
and the game is going to launch very, very soon. And voila, we are now in PSO2. We've got all the cutscenes, you know, uh, we'll skip everything and I'll just show you that the game actually works. We are now in the lobby and you'll also notice that there's no more stutter lag in the lobby because we are using the PSO tweaker. So let's go somewhere more populated. Let's go here. This one seems to be more populated than the rest. You see, once we're loaded, look, there's a bunch of people over here, but there's no lag. Whoa, amazing. Look at this, 60 FPS. Woo! But yeah, this is pretty much what I had to go through in order to get the freaking game to work again. And yeah, I really do recommend most of you guys to just use the tweaker. If you haven't downloaded the game, don't download it through the Microsoft Store. Just download it using the PSO2 tweaker, mainly because it's going to save you a ton of hassle in case your game doesn't work later down the road. And this guy's name is called I Love You 3000. That's really cute. But yeah, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, I would appreciate a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. What can I say except you're welcome for the heals, the boosts, the